Let's try to develop a relationship between angular and linear velocity. Okay, what is angular velocity? Angular velocity of a rotating object is the rate at which central angle changes with respect to time. So, think like this. Let's say there's a wheel. Right? And let's say this is my center and the wheel is moving. Correct. So, this angle changes. So, rate of change of this angle gives me angular velocity. Now, how is it related with linear velocity? Let's consider this point here, right? This point will move along the circular. As it moves, the angle in between changes, right? So, that gives a result to angular velocity. But if you see, this wheel could be moving forward, right? So, if it makes one full circle, it does an angle of 2 pi, correct? One full circle, it will do 2 pi angle, correct? And in the meantime, it will also travel a linear distance, which will be 2 pi r. So, that is how, you know, the distance traveled along a circular path is related with the translation of distance along a horizontal path. And this horizontal path gives linear velocity to us. In the same time, you know what? This point goes one circle. That means 2 pi radians. And in the same time, it travels a distance of 2 pi r. So they are very much related. And so this relation we will try to put in words and form some kind of a mathematical equation to derive. So we can say that in general, what is average linear velocity? So let me say average linear velocity is what? Velocity is distance over time. So we say it is distance over time, correct? Now, let us assume that V is my velocity and S is the distance and T is time. So we can write this as V equals to S over T. Now, if the object is moving along a circular path, then, let's say at a constant speed, then it travels along an arc, like this is my arc A, right? So, distance traveled is R into theta, if this is my angle theta, is it okay? So, I can write this distance traveled as, as R times theta. Correct? Now, if S equals to R times theta, then we can replace this S with R times theta and get our velocity, right? So, we get velocity equals, I am replacing this distance S in the first equation and I get R times theta over T. Now, theta over t. Theta is the angle and t is the time taken. So, theta over t represents what? Theta is rate of, theta over t is rate of change of angle, right? Central angle. And that is called by definition angular velocity. Correct? So, this is actually angular velocity. We normally represent angular velocity by Greek letter omega. This should be called omega. So, we can replace theta by t as omega and we say v r equals to r omega. So, that's the relation which we are looking for. v equals to r omega. Where V is the linear velocity, R is the radius of the circular path and omega is the angular velocity, right? This is a very, very critical and very important application and very important equation. It relates circular motion to straight line motion, trans do you see linear motion? So that's a very important V equals to R omega. And we will be using this equation in many applications, especially 
converting angular movement into linear movements. That would be great. I hope you understand it's such a simple proof. V equals to r omega relates linear velocity with our angular velocity omega. Okay? Thank you.